What's going on guys, it's your boy 2Js and in this video you're going to catch some of our grand opening. Um, take a look around at the, the background and see who, who was there and, and not. I'm even curious to see this video um, because there were so many cool people and amazing people that were here that I couldn't even believe they were here to share this moment with us. Um, we officially opened doors here at Caesars Palace and uh, hopefully this is the shot heard around the world. So sit back, enjoy this video. A lot of good vibes on this one and uh, we'll talk soon. Robert Foe, skin design, owner, friend. Um, he's actually a sneakerhead, which is funny. Rob, before he moved to Hawaii, consigned a bunch of shoes because he's like, Jay, I forgot to pack all these and take these. But he's like, you know, it's kind of hard to find shoes where I'm at in Hawaii. Um, he doesn't have really much time to go to sneaker stores and stuff like that. But he still rocks Jays and Dunks and this and that. And, He's like, I had some catching up to do, and he's buying Dior's and all. Like, this is everything that he bought for him and his wife so far. Just a couple. Sneaker shopping. Bro, just being, just being in this motherfucking place. Bro. I got the chills when I walked in. I'm still feeling hype, bro. No, this is this is absolutely stunning, bro. I'm like blown away. Like I still remember what this looked like with the, the floors, everything. Right? I'm lost for words for this. Man. This is unbelievable. I know I've been freaked the fuck out for the last however long, and it's been one of the most stressful things that my wife and I and you guys have been a part of, but I'm thankful that it's with you guys. I wouldn't want to do this with anybody else. There's one thing nobody will ever be able to take from you guys. You guys were a part of the most monumental shit in sneaker history. These next two days are the shot that's heard around the world. Tomorrow we got almost 400 people that are people I look up to, friends of the brand, people that have invested into the brand, people that have made a dollar with us, People that have allowed us to make a dollar with them and a lot of cool, most importantly, all of them are fucking cool as shit, right? They're all people that are, like, are genuinely invested into this brand, believe in this brand, support in this brand, and it's because of people like yourselves that they're gonna be here and that we're here, right? So get rest. I know I'm probably not, but uh, sleep for me and Joni, if you can. And uh, like I said, let's have fun. Tomorrow's gonna be crazy. Friday's gonna be even crazier. What's wild is, is that literally three years to the day, we did this shit at Fashion Show, right? Remember? And when we opened up Fashion Show, we had a line from the door all the way out to the balcony, down the mezzanine, halfway down the mezzanine to the wind, till 4.30 in the afternoon. It was taking people an hour to two hours to get in the store. It was taking people an hour to two hours to pay for their stuff. And it was a six figure day. And I'm here to tell you that I think we're gonna do four times that day one, four times that day two. And I think that this store does twice the revenue over the course of the year that fashion show does. So if that doesn't excite you, I don't know what will. So from, from the very beginning, I knew that we had to have something that was like all walks of life and all aspects of culture, right? To me, culture is is street art, it's it's tattoos, it's haircuts, it's fashion, it's clothes, it's sneakers. And I thought that at some point we could scale it out to where we could have this, you know, kind of form like Voltron vibe, um, where I could team up with all of the homies and 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 basically shake our pom poms as hard as we could to get this to work for everybody. So downstairs we have an ice cream shop that's themed after my Frenchie, um, where you could get popsicle sticks that are shaped like French Bulldogs or Jordans, ice cream and milkshakes that you can put your favorite cereal, energy drinks, and candy in. Yo, so this is a monster shake with Pop Rocks. I might be missing out. What else is in there? You got cinnamon toast crunch. You got a little bit of mochi in there. Yo, if y'all come to Urban Necessity, y'all better buy this shit. This shit's fire. And upstairs I have 
a barber shop that's ran by Mar from Haircuts Don't Lie, and a tattoo shop that's ran by Skin Design and uh, Robert Foe. Now, every one of these aspects is tied into a friend or a homie that I've known for a really long time. The guys that are helping me run Billion Flavors are from Jersey, I'm from Jersey. Skin Design is ran by Robert, who I've known for almost 13 years, and he he's seen, you know, basically a third of my life me and him, we've known each other for a third of my life, and it's been really cool to see him grow as an entrepreneur, as a business owner, and scale out his business. And we've always played this, what would it look like kind of thing. And, you know, the it, it happened at the right time. Damn, this is crazy, dude. I'm like, literally like shocked. Like stunned. Hey, bro. Seriously, man, I love you, bro. Like, I got your back all day, every day. Band LA in the motherfucking house. Last year, about almost 365 days ago, we started doing this. And uh, it was at a much smaller location and uh, one year later it's here look at this shit Jay congratulations this is insane I uh, I don't even know what to say really speechless um you earned you earned it it's great it's beautiful you uh, deserve it more than anybody I know so congratulations brother insane from the podium to the 18,000 square feet Yee. hey I've known this guy since like the trunk days yeah. The table, crazy. The first one, the first store, then the second one got bigger. This is insane. So I actually met JC at his old store back in the, like five years ago? Five years ago, probably about. Met him in his old store and then um, just going to a lot of shows. Just met him and uh, talked with him. He's just been a real great guy, man. I watched him grow and I'm just really happy for him and Joey, man. This is, this is amazing. Hey yo, shout out to Urban Necessities. We gonna get the flyest shit. A little private event right here, we chilling. Shout out to my boy. He did his thing in here. Wait till y'all see this shit. We're here, Urban Necessities. The Forum Shops grand opening. Like this is just beautiful, man, to be here. I appreciate it. Yo Jay, you did your thing, bro. Super happy for you, man. From the heart, for real. I wanna just express my gratitude to two Jays. First of all, he's welcomed me and A like family. And uh, I have to say this is extremely encouraging. The fact that the story where he started seven, eight years ago, out in the street, to seven years later, being able to be at the Caesars Palace next to brands that we all know, it is extraordinary. It is mind blowing and very encouraging. And it says not only to those that have witnessed it, but it reminds us that we, we can't settle. We gotta continue to fight through the ups and downs and there have been, um, and it's just, this is an exciting moment, so salute to you, brother. God bless you. I just walked in the building and I'm blown away, man. This is incredible. Congratulations to everyone at Urban Necessities. My man JC, Joni, this is incredible. Congrats. Behind the scenes talk, man. Come on, come on. Jay, congratulations. Been knowing you from day one. This right here, that's all I got to say. ¿Qué onda, banda? Estamos en Urban Necessities desde Las Vegas, Nevada. Si tienes chance, date la vuelta a conocer la tienda de JC López en la casa. Saludos desde México. Bueno, desde Las Vegas, por un mexicano. Peace. Long hours, but it's worth it. It's worth it. Wow. Oh, man. This is amazing. Like Disney World. That's what I say. Definitely. I'll tell you one thing. The greatest star I've ever seen in my life. Estamos felices, hermano. Gracias a Dios con este sueño realizado para Jay. 
What's up, Jay? I'm out here from Long Beach, man. I had to pull up at your beautiful store. Your shoe wall looks like my AMG dash, man. You were talking shit on it earlier, but beautiful store, bro. Congratulations, man. Thank you. This is just, I mean, I'm seriously speechless. Like, I was just texting JC last night. I had a screenshot of text yeah. between, between Cease and I. How are you? Between Cease and I talking about a FaceTime appointment and Cease driving the shoes to my house and all that when they hadn't even opened at the boulevard. I had a picture of us moving at like midnight one night when he went from the small boulevard store, the big boulevard store. Picture of Jay and I when I won the heat locker with like the 70th winner or something. You guys probably have like 5,000 fucking winners now or something. I don't know if I can cuss my bad, but um, I mean to see where you guys have come, I mean it just, like it's not even my story, I mean, it can make me cry. I mean it just, it's just so fantastic what you guys have done. I mean, congratulations Jay and uh, Joni and the whole UN team, I mean you guys killed it. This is so beyond unparalleled. I mean, it's just fantastic. I mean, just seriously. What up, your boy Terminology here. Want to give a big shout out to my brother Two Jays. Congratulations on the new store. It's crazy. It's sick. We in the building, man. Let's go. You win. Ology. I like this. I wrote down five things I wanted in five years. This is one. And I'm like, man, one day I'll afford a thousand dollars. Oh. They're four thousand. Oh shit! They're eight thousand. That's how it was with the flums, right? Oh man, yeah. Every time I wanted them, I wanted them too. I wanted them too, man. Five rounds. Yeah, you couldn't give stuff away. I remember when we did like UN Invitational. I gave away Heinekens for like four dollars, bro. Like guys still hit me with receipts of dunks that I sold that are like disgustingly high now. Yo, Jay, remember when you sold me this shit for twenty? Remember when this was fifteen dollars? Remember when I bought 32 pairs of dunk size 12 for fucking $187? Like, I did a lot of shit in hindsight I wish I didn't. <laughs> but, you know, we're here. Bum B, what up? Static Selector, what up? 2J. When, when I get asked what do I want to do for the future, it's really, I just want to, I want to make this, this, now um voltron so to speak a well-oiled machine that that runs efficiently and as fast as it possibly can not because i'm dying to put money in my pocket but more because at this point we have so many consigners so many items that are being uh, uh sold through through us that someone else is allowing us to make a dollar and it's only it's not fair to them if we're not making the system better and more efficient um you know it's pretty smooth but there's still a couple of times where the wheel lump thumps on the ground um but i'm excited about having this chance to fix that um obviously you know i'd love to try to curate um in other fields that i haven't touched i think my brand is getting to a point where it allows me to kind of play in other worlds that you might not necessarily know me for but i have an appreciation or a passion of um you see that we're dabbling a lot in music with uh, other influencers and rappers and drummers and guitarists and stuff like that and i, I i'm curious of what does that look like and you know i'd, I'd love to kind of get the you and me foundation off the ground and figure out how we help others um with their dreams and, and aspirations that they might have to becoming independent and uh self-efficient a couple of years ago almost eight to be exact my wife and i went on this little thing with this sneaker thing when i lost my job i didn't have a pot to piss in and i found a pair of shoes that i thought man these are pretty dope i think i think i can sell a couple of these and make a couple dollars to pay for a pair literally less than 100 feet from here is a stop sign where my wife and i stood stood at like three in the morning for some shoes and wifey was like jay talk to a couple people in the line and see if they're gonna buy that shoe or not and a couple people did it we wind up buying 18 pairs and making 200 dollars profit on each one of those shoes a couple years later there's a bunch of lines that we've stood out at nike town and forum shops is not letting us really stand in line for sneakers inside forum shops so we're now on jay sarno and on uh, Frank Sinatra standing in lines, but back then, you guys know how these standing in line thing is. There's fights, people getting cut in line, and there's always like this negative energy. 
And I'm like, yo, I think I could change that and maybe make a couple extra bucks while we're doing that. And we would bring PlayStations and TVs and barbecue grills and barbers. And little did I fucking know that eight years ago, we was really just doing the recon for this, right? Yeah, it's crazy. To go from showering in the fountains in front of this place when I couldn't sneak in a hotel and now opening this and having this moment right here. Look around you. It is all walks of life from all over the world, coexisting, smiling, happy, sharing, art, music, tattoos, barbers. This is the most epic shit in the history of culture for us. And look who's running it. You guys, each and every one of you guys has allowed us, permitted us to exist in this, in this world. And this moment wasn't for us. This moment was for you guys and for us to be able to say thank you. Thank you for allowing us to, to make this happen from the bottom of my heart. Go, boy. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Guys, so, you know, the event was from 7 to 10. I ain't saying you got to leave, but I know security is out there. And them guys been working hard. And form shops works a little different than most places. I'm not kicking y'all out. We can stay here as long as you want, but just let's be cordial and genuinely appreciate every single one of y'all for coming out here tonight. Let's go, we're open for this. New castles for my new castle. Excited to welcome you guys to the new Urban Necessities here in Caesars Palace at the Forum Shops, guys. So, we're gonna cut this little ribbon and let everybody in. Sounds good?
culture culture for me is everything right um you know when i when i first started paying attention to athletes and sneakers and music and fashion uh, like i was enamored by obviously you know the stereotypical trap boy or hustler or d-boy that you found on the street those were those were my heroes growing up right like i was enamored with the way they dressed the style the rap videos that whole era that 90s vibe um that uh late 90s early 2000s era really um fathered who who i am and um the streets kind of like taught me my rights and wrongs right and um not saying that i'm this gangster or anything like that but just you know i paid attention a lot to something that i could relate to because they look like me or they act like me and um you know i think that when culture was st first started to uh people were paying attention to culture um and our our industries these bigger brands really kind of just tagged along and um took advantage and then like repackaged it and said hey this is how it needs to be but over the years um business owners like myself other brands that are out there that i think are going about it the right way have really kind of grabbed this bull by the horns and are steering it in the direction that it needs to go in and i think um we finally our voice is finally big enough to be able to be on a platform like this and say nope this is culture this is what it looks like and and the world's starting to listen i think vegas is an amazing um you know melting pot of people from all walks of life that come here from all over the world um and everybody comes to caesar's palace so I'm excited to really cause these ripple effects that I see in my head um, and uh, curious to see where we go. This, this, this is a must. On top of the shirts, this is a must. I mean, it doesn't help you lose weight. It doesn't matter. It tastes great. So a little bit of chicken, a little bit of seasoning. We're good to go, baby. Right there. 